Friday. This is Lynn Applebaum from Somerset Hills YMCA. I hope you're doing well. Um, I want to tell you that we really all miss you. So what we thought we could do is bring you some exercise and a little bit of happiness right to you in your home. Because we all know that being still and being sedentary is not the best way to get through anything. So me and uh, my coworkers were all putting together some videos for you guys to do at home. Today I'm going to be doing a bar without the bar workout for you. So what would be great for you to have, obviously we all have walls, so you can use a wall for some support when you need it, or you can use a chair like I have here for additional support. With just keeping in mind that the chair, you want to not put your full weight on it when you're using it for support. I am also going to use a ball, which you can use a playground ball in that place, and I have dumbbells. Light, anywhere from two to five pounds is great, but don't worry, if you don't have dumbbells at home, you don't need to use them. Everything can be done without anything at all. And of course, I have a mat. You can use a towel on the floor if that works for you, or if you're carpeting, you can just go down and be comfortable where you are. I don't have shoes on for my workout today. That is entirely up to you. If you are more comfortable with the shoe, fantastic. If you can do it without a shoe, you actually get a really wonderful workout for the muscles of your feet, your ankles, and your lower legs. So, with all that being said, let's get started. We're gonna do three big inhales up, and exhale. Inhale up, and exhale. Inhale up, and exhale. Now I want you to start thinking about posture. Lift the rib cage, pull the shoulders back together, pull the belly button in towards your spine, Squeeze your glutes, and we're going to do a nice shoulder roll up, back, and down, trying to touch the ears with our shoulders, which of course we're not going to be able to do, but we're aiming for that. At the back of that loop, squeezing our shoulder blades together, creating length and strength in every move. Now I'm going to take my arms out a little wider, open up, bring those elbows out to the side, kind of push the air away here. We're breathing, we're focused. If you're comfortable with it, we're gonna do a full circle back, full long arms. If that is uncomfortable for you, stay with that smaller move. Let's do four more together here. Three, two, and one. Now, from there, I'm gonna swing my arms front and back. Let's just start with the arms. And then we're gonna add a heel raise and a toe raise. So as I raise front, my heels come up. On the way back, the toes come up. Heel and toe. We're gonna do eight of them and then we're gonna hold balance at the top of the move. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let's get ready to hold that balance. All the way up, heels are peeled all the way up. If you wanna work a little bit harder on that balance, take your gaze up to your ceiling. Breathe. Hold it for four, three, two. Don't drop those feet. Bring the arms out to the sides. Now close the arms up together on top of the head and open. Close together, open. Two more. Close and open. Last one. Close, open. Stay open. Squeeze those shoulder blades back and together. How are your feet doing? If you're getting a little tired, feel free to drop your heels to the floor. If you're okay to stay on those toes, stay there and roll those wrists front to back. Roll forward and back. Just four, three, two, and one. Good, bring the heels down, step out wide. From here, we're just gonna do a nice easy lunge from side to side. We're still warming up, so give your body a chance to get acclimated. Now I'm gonna start bringing my torso forward so that it is parallel to the floor. Go where you're comfortable. If you're not quite ready to go that deep, stay up a little taller. When you're ready, go ahead and add a shoulder press in from side to side. Again, nice and easy, still warming up. And now I'm going to add in a full windmill, going for the opposite foot, reaching the other arm up nice and strong. Eight times, eight, seven, six, Readjust your posture, lift that rib cage and pull the shoulder blades back and together. Pull that belly in, drop down and up. Easy plie squats, not going super deep yet. Here's what I want you to remember and think about. Knees, ankles, and toes should be tracking. Should be 
may need to adjust your position so that that is happening because we do want the knees to come forward. If the feet are out here, that's where your knees need to be. So be honest with yourself where you need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and add an arm in to this move. As we're warmer, we're going to go a little deeper. We're going to do four more and then we're going to do a hold at the bottom. Four, three, two, take it to the bottom. Hold those arms up if you can. If you need a little break, bring them down. Can you drop maybe an inch lower? Tip that pelvis just slightly forward. You're starting to feel your glutes get activated. You're certainly feeling your inner thighs, right? Of course I'm right. Lift the one heel and then the other. Lift, alternating lifts. Lift, lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now both heels are gonna come up, guys. This is where it gets a little bit tougher and we really get into the meat of the, of the workout. Come on down for a moment if you can. Remember, you always have the option of keeping the heels flat if you need to, and of course, bringing the move up a little bit. Can you hold it for me for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on up. Walk those feet back into the back hip width apart. Roll it back again, readjust that posture. Hopefully you're feeling pretty good. We're gonna get a little bit harder now. I think everybody should be well warmed up. So we're gonna just do a little bit of knee raises so we can prepare to do a fairly intense quadricep exercise. So just pull those knees up, alternating sides. Just like that. Just eight more of them. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Good, so now I'm gonna go to my chair for a little bit of support. So again, for you at home, you're gonna either use a wall, use a chair like I am, or if you really wanna challenge your balance, you can try to do it without any support at all. This is up to you. With my outside leg, I'm gonna stand myself up nice and tall, and a reminder that our support leg always has a soft knee. We don't want to block out our joints. Again, we're adjusting the posture so they're always strong and tall. Take that outside leg and lift it up to about hip height. That's where you're going to stay for your finish and for your start. We're gonna do a set of eight, and you're gonna repeat that afterwards two more times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, at home, you're gonna do two more sets of them. Lift it up so it's higher than hip height, or at least at hip height. 
Extend that leg in front of you. Flex that foot hard. We're gonna lift straight up and down. Eight repetitions, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Beautiful job. Second exercise, bring it up, extend and bend. Just as a reminder, extend flex and point in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it down. Two more sets for you at home. Four, 
three, two, and good. Shake it out. How we doing? Okay, we're gonna move away from legs for just a moment because no bar workout is complete without glute work. But I'm gonna give you a little break on the legs. So if you have dumbbells, you can pick them up now. If you do not have them, you can use water bottles or soup cans or nothing at all. It's really up to you. I'm going to use five pound dumbbells for this exercise. And I'm gonna face you sideways. We're gonna do some work on the back, okay? Very big um, on postural work. So we wanna work those big muscles of the back. So I'm gonna stand in what we call a bilateral stance. My feet are about hip width apart. My knees are soft. Shoulders are back and together as I begin the exercise. Pull that belly in, keep it in the whole time, okay? Hinge forward. We have a little bit of an arch in the back. Hips are just slightly up. Reach those weights down, pull that belly up and in. Eight repetitions and pull up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on back up for a moment. At home, you're gonna do five sets of that. So we just did one together. I'd like you to do five more of those, four more of those, okay?
I'm going to take my hands and lace my fingers together and open up the back. I'm going to take a nice big inhale. Exhale and let my head just come forward. Straight and length. Bring the arms down. Let's do a little shake. Okay. Moving my legs out of the way. We'll come back to them in a little while. I'm now going to use my chair to do some posterior work. Okay? Everybody's favorite in a bar class. It's the glute work. We know this. You cannot skip it. So here we go. So I'm going to just use my chair, which could be a lower bar if you were in the bar class. I'm going to stand with my feet back the apart. The first set of exercises, we're going to have all 10 toes facing forward. Okay? Again, knees are soft. We're going to start with our right leg as our moving leg. So I'm going to take my leg up and behind us. Notice that I'm standing up nice and tall here. And with my toe pointed but more relaxed, we're going to lift straight up and down with your hips squared to your support. So no turn out here. And lift up for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now hold it at the top. We're going through a whole series. And you're going to repeat it two more times. Each one of the eight repetitions. I'm going to bend my knee. I'm going to square up my heel. I'm going to flex my foot. And I'm going to push back and behind me for eight repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful job. And come further forward on my bar or my support. Remember, don't put all your weight on it. I'm going to have my heel up toward the ceiling and I'm going to go straight up, pressing up toward the ceiling for eight repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to go to a full sweep in and extend out. One, out. Two, three, four, Just as a reminder, we're going to do that two more times. You for a full set of three. Losing the attention to the other. 
otherwise. You want to make really sure that you're always focusing on the posture as well as the actual exercise that you're in the middle of. With my left leg now, I'm going to do my left, standing up nice and tall, soft foot, eight repetitions. Take a quick moment to do a glute stretch. I'm going to have my hands on my support. I'm going to take my right foot on top of my left knee and I'm going to sink myself down into a nice gluteal stretch. Breathing. You can hold this for as long as you need. Coming back up, I'm going to switch sides. This is a little reprieve, but we're not finished with the glutes. So just letting you know. How are we doing so far? You good? Feeling good? All right, moving on. We're going to start incorporating some more upper body work. Now I'm going to use my dumbbells. Again, at home if you like, you can use your cans, bottles, just you. However, here's the difference. I'm going to do my upper body work in a plie stance. So if it's not comfortable for you, just stand up nice and tall and work where you need to work. So I'm going to pick up my five pound weights. We're gonna do a little bicep series here. I'm gonna start with my weights right down at my side and just going into that plie stance, that's gonna be some really nice hard work for you. Again, always monitoring where your knees are in relationship to the ankles and the feet. Now, I'm pretty comfortable with this, so I'm gonna drop myself down. You go where you need to. Tip that pelvis slightly forward. Bring the weights out to your sides and we're just gonna have our hands, palms up. So I'm just gonna come up, we're gonna do eight. Keep the wrist straight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Now, I'm going to change the direction of the hands. We're going to go into a neutral grip. I'm lifting eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm going to now change the position of my arms. I'm going to bring both arms right out in front of me, right in the middle of that plie squat. Sit up nice, stand up nice and tall, palms up, eight repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, neutral grip, same position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Little rest. Last set of exercises in our bicep series. With a caveat, we will be repeating these at home, all of these two more times. We're gonna come up to shoulder height and do peak curls. If your shoulders are a problem for this exercise, bring it down, do another set of what we just did. Palms in, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now neutral grip, last set. One, two, feel those shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Awesome job. Go ahead and put those weights down. Stay in your plie if you can. Take the arms, press them out to the side. Take a big inhale, push those palms away from you, turn that thumb up. Hold that beautiful stretch. Do not hold your breath. Shake it out. Don't come out of your plie. This is where it gets a little tougher, guys, not to lie. So for those of you who are not comfortable being down here, I would encourage you to at least do a plie squat, do some sort of a squat, do it with intention. For those of you who are a little more comfortable with this deep flexibility piece, join me. I'm gonna come all the way down to the bottom of my plie squat. I'm gonna place my hands on the floor. If you're not there, you're not comfortable with it, you can always have your hands on your thighs here, okay? So just by doing that, that is an intense stretch for that lower body. I also feel a great stretch in my lower back as well. But it's not easy to do. So, we're gonna move from here, making sure again that we have alignment from knee to ankle to toe. I'm gonna step out a little bit wider, and I'm gonna go right into a puma lunge, which you can do with the hands on the floor or your hands on your thighs. You can come up a little taller if you need to. Go where you need to go. Let's do 16 reps together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, land in the middle here. Walk the feet just a little closer, keeping them turned out. Again, hands can be, arms can be on the thighs, or if you're a little more comfortable with the flexibility, on the floor. Either way, I want you to try to keep those legs open. Pull your belly in, and we're gonna drop our hips down and up in this position. 16 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now at the top of that move, last big push on this. Lift those heels, hold them up. Breathe, hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and bring those heels down. Unbend your legs. Let that head just kind of hang for a moment. Relax, breathe. Exhale. 
slowly start uncurling the back, one vertebra at a time, bring yourself all the way up to standing. Big inhale, walk the feet in. So a very classic bar move, um, one that we do a lot in classes. Um, really very, very accessible to just about everybody, okay? We're gonna turn our feet out for this next move. Again, always maintaining that beautiful posture, knees, ankles, and toes in the same line. Placing my hands on my support, light support. I'm gonna turn my feet out, but I'm gonna have my heels touching. And I'm gonna just tilt my hips slightly forward, so that automatically gives me gluteal engagement. Now I'm gonna raise my heels and keep them together. And we're just gonna go into a nice little diamond squat series. So go for that lean back, it makes a huge difference. Upper body nice, tall and strong. We're gonna do eight together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. For those of you who are watching at home, and you all are actually, I'm going to ask you to do four more sets of that. So I think we've done a pretty good job addressing most of our major muscle groups. We're gonna come down to the floor. I'm gonna do a little bit more glute work, and then we're gonna move into some core work and stretching to finish up class today. My ball for this exercise, you can use a playground ball. You can also do this without a ball at all. I like to use it right under my rib cage to keep me in this nice long stance and keep me up have with a little bit of support. So you're gonna notice I have my elbow right underneath my shoulder. I'm going to have the balls of my feet touching each other. These are clamshells, again, very glute specific. Don't sink that upper body, stay nice and tall. If you want, you can add an arm reach like you would do in the side bridge, wherever you're comfortable working. You can also have the hand down. We're gonna tap our knees together. I'm gonna to do 10 with you. You're gonna do another 10 after we finish the series. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm just going to add one little piece onto this. We're going to do our clamshell, open, extend, and back together. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. We're gonna flip it around. Same series on the other side. Placing that ball right underneath my rib cage, elbow right underneath the shoulder, clamshells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and now with the extension. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Okay, guys. Um, and what we just did, I want you to repeat that two more times on your own. Okay? This combination is a uh, cardio core. So it's going to involve plank, it's gonna have a little bit of push up in it, you can modify as you need to. So it's a series of a few moves with eight counts each. When we do it in class, I always do at least three sets of this. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up into our low plank. And again, a modification is you can always keep those knees on the floor if you need to. You can do a standing version of this as well. So I'm coming up to my low plank and holding it for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming right into a high plank and holding that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Going into eight push ups. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, holding up the top, bringing the knees in right and left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, cross body knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Final move, either taps to the side or plank switches. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming on to the knees. Stretching back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. When you do this at home, you want to make sure you're building in that eight count rest in between sets. Repeat that one two more times. Last abdominal series, and then stretch. I'm gonna use my ball again, which is over there. Now for this, guys, if you don't have a playground ball or something like this, you can also take some blankets or towels, put them behind the tailbone, and use that for support. What I'm going to ask you to do is make sure that you have a beautiful, long line from head to your waist, making a nice V with your body. From here, belly button in. My eye line is going to be between my ceiling and the top of my wall. Bringing my arms out, I'm gonna exhale forward, inhale back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, and then go into a straight arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take my right foot off the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with the reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put that foot down, last set. One, exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight with the reach for the last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the ball out. 
Let's come down and get a well-deserved stretch in. Bring yourself all the way down to your mat. Just relax for a moment. Let the legs extend, bring the arms overhead. With the inhale, I'd like you to lift your rib cage, arch the back off the floor. With the exhale, sink the whole body down. Hug the knees into your chest. Just rotating side to side. You feel that nice little stretch in the lower back, a little massage. Let the knees fall all the way to the right. Take the arms out in a T, right by the shoulder, and take your gaze in the opposite direction. If you like, you can take that top leg and let it extend over the bottom. If this is too much, just keep the knees bent. Roll back onto the back. Let's take that left leg up in the air. Bring the hands behind the calf and let that leg fall in. Roll that foot out and roll it in. Flex that foot hard and grab those toes. Give that foot a pull. You're gonna feel that stretch all the way up the back of the leg. And stretching out the feet as well. Now cross that foot over the opposite knee and hug both legs in. Uncross, bring the knees back in. Bring your arms back in, out to the side and roll to the opposite side, taking your gaze in the other direction. Coming back onto the back, take that right leg up in the air. Bring that leg into you, roll that foot out and roll it in. Hold it center, flex the foot hard, grab those toes. And then finally cross that foot over the opposite knee, hug both legs in. If you can, roll yourself up into the seated position. Bring the arms all the way up, breathe in. Exhale forward. Don't force the stretch. Breathe in again. Exhale, let the head lower. Slowly, carefully walk the hands up and legs, uncurling your back one vertebra at a time. Lace those fingers together, open up the back. Bring the arms up overhead and just do an easy tilt from side to side. Bring the arms down, give everything a little shake. Bring yourself back up into standing. And we're gonna finish with three nice big inhales up. Exhale, and up, and exhale, and up, and exhale. Awesome job, we can't wait to see you back here. I hope you enjoy what we're doing. Take care.